The willingness to fail is actually quite important to the success and longevity of all sorts of companies, fleet management companies included. Sometimes the more successful the company, the less willing to fail they are. And it, you would think that very successful companies are willing to fail. That's how they've stayed on top. You know, I, Kodak invented the digital camera and they, they were afraid that it was going to cannibalize their, their, their own revenue streams. You know, we, we, we could look at, you know, um, you know Barnes and & Noble and, and Books A Million and all these companies, you know, before Amazon came out. And, you know, there's just, there's, you know, Zappos completely changed with next day delivery and, and returns, free returns. That changed industries. And I remember talking to a, a head of a very large retail chain. He said, there's no way they can do free returns. And I said, they are. Your model is they can't do it. Their model is they can. So if they do, you have two choices. F do it or don't and lose market share. And you quickly saw a year or two after Zappos did that, many companies started offering free returns both ways. They just have to sit down and figure out how do we make seven, eight, ten more dollars, whatever the shipping is, or how do we make seven, eight, ten less dollars so that we don't go out of business. But I think that's my general fear in, in companies that are successful is that they, they become afraid to fail. And culturally, employees get afraid to fail. It maybe means that they're not going to get promoted. It maybe means that um, they're not going to be looked at favorably. Um, and, and, and that's a shame because if you look at most companies, some of their most and biggest successes came from many, many attempts on that success. Very rarely was it a straight line.